Good morning. This morning I wanted to introduce you to little Ollie. He's the evergreen shrub that you see here. He does his job every day without complaint. He's lovely and green, has these beautiful sort of silvery leaves. He reminds you of an olive tree. That's why he's called little, little Ollie. Um, he requires very little water and he inhabits the space beautifully. So in my garden, I do need um, things to take up some of the negative space so that I ha so it looks full and lush, like a cottage garden. That's the kind of look that I like. But sometimes these things that you plant, you know, they, they get very excited and they overgrow. And so little Ollie is on the verge of being too big. I have to make sure that all the plants are sort of proportionately <laughs> appropriate for my little garden um, and no one plant takes over. So today I'm going to give little Ollie a trim and I thought you'd like to see the before and the after. Here's Ollie after his trim. I didn't trim him back too much and I don't like to trim him completely symmetrically because I like him to look a little bit wild. So I'm happy with the way he turned out. But the big surprise is, by cutting him back a little bit, I was able to find a little bit of space for some ground cover. So he has a friend. I planted the Gallardia there, which is a little pop of color that should spread. I'll have to make sure to water him well. But um, I think it should be a lovely tableau here in the front of my garden. And let me show you another surprise. So here we have a lovely summer floral arrangement for my dinner this evening. There's heliotrope, purple butterfly bush, salvia, and a pineapple guava branch. But can you see who's working the hardest and holding everyone else together? Yes, it's little Ollie, which goes to prove that you don't have to be fancy to be the VIP of the day.